Gang, we on it. Wait, wait, Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're doing what if Naruto was the reverse flash? And I know you guys are wondering, so are you be doing the series or something? Yes I am, I am to be doing the series, but this is the result. So I hope you guys enjoy, let's get into it. <clears throat> Alright, so basically... Nar okay, this starts off in um, Naruto as a 40-year-old self. Sasuke has taken everything from Naruto. So Naruto has, f has completed his research years ago. To finally go find a way to go back in time. End up creating, after consulting, you know, scientific teams from Kumo, Aiwa, Kiri, and Suna. Along with his Biju, who told him about a, a mysterious force in the universe and grants the user speed but in the ability to go back in time but it comes with consequences so Naruto not wanting to face these consequences and having nothing truly to nothing to lose will create a ver variation of this but wouldn't give him any consequences as it is his own and will finally run back in time with his new suit well with the suit that he has so when Naruto would appear he would appear back in time and would well uh, you know basically fi um, find out that he's um that his, his older body is fluctuating in and out of time he's noticing that it's fluctuating from his younger self to his older self at that time his younger self is around eight years old as Naruto says good it's around that time I can finally enact my plan, my revenge. As Naruto would go around, run around Kona. Now, people will report sightings of a red lightning blur speeding past him. With long, like, blowing of winds, sonic booms everywhere. As Naruto appears to see Chisui Uchiha on the cliff. And this is where we're going to time skip to about, well, to the age of 12 because we'll be going over all the, the important things that uh, most of the things that's going to be ha that happened in Naruto but that caused him to go back in time and what happened after Naruto was spying on Itachi and Shisui on that cliff <clears throat> so let's go so Naruto is um, actually on his graduation exam so to be honest much of the story does no, not much of the story changes up to up to the point of Sasuke retrieval arc but just for the sake of it Let's get into it. So Naruto would be put, um would do fail the exam and would know and would know about Mizuki. Now when this time instead of leaving Mizuki alive, Naruto would actually kill him, not having any remorse, no longer having remorse. He would kill Mizuki this time. Beat him, he he continued to beat on him after, later than what he did. So that be the be legit beat Mizuki to death. And Naruto, and in Ruka, I've seen Naruto could do the multi shadow clone jutsu, and also got his first kill. He would console Naruto about the kill, but would then give Naruto his headband, and the story pro pro will progress. Naruto will be placed on Team Seven, and will well basically move on to, well, move on to the um Land of Ways mission. Now Naruto would spot the puddle and would tell Kakashi about this. Like I said, not much changes, so it's nothing too major changes. So Kakashi was shocked to see that Naruto was the only one of his teammates to find it, and would nod his head. As Kakashi would get trapped by the shrapnel, as Naruto would be the one to take them out instead of Sasuke, but would still get poisoned to make it seem degree, to make it seem like much itself, because he knows. As Iruka saw yesterday, that Naruto didn't really need consoling after his first kill like he's killed before. So Naruto knows that he's most likely under suspicion of the Okage for killing something or someone before and him not just not knowing. And he doesn't know why he wouldn't know, but he just doesn't. But anyways, so they will progress on 
after, you know, finding out that Kakashi is still alive. And that Tazuna basically lied about the mission parameters, about it being an A rank, um, most likely a B to A rank mission. And the team would, continue, would, um, would, you know, tell Kakashi that they want to continue the mission. So, you know, Kakashi would tell Tazuna that he's lucky that the Jin wants to continue this mission or else they will all be heading back to Konoha and he must likely be thrown in prison for lying on the mission parameters. So continue on with the mission, Naruto and um Sasuke, well, Sasuke will most likely be going at Naruto, but Naruto's just thinking, just you wait Sasuke, wait till you try, that'll be the day you die, that that moment is when I would have taken everything from you, everything you took from me, I will have it back, well, not everything. Naruto begins to smirk. As moving on, Kikashi, um, they will go on, and Kakashi will tell everyone to duck. And well, we all know how this really starts. So Kakashi, um, it will be Zabuza. Kakashi will fight Zabuza, and it would basically end up with well, how do I say this? It will basically end up with Kakashi, Naruto having to say Kakashi. By um using the same tactic that he used with Sasuke, except this um well yeah he had to he kind of had to at the moment using the same tactic to get Kakashi out of the water prison and them defeating Zabuza, meeting Haku and all these all that. So Naruto will grab Kakashi and will carry him on. As Kakashi is passed out from chakra um chakra exhaustion, and well. They will go to Tazuna's house, and uh, we'll cro well we'll cross the river on a boat, and we'll go to Tazuna's house where Naruto will lay Kakashi down. So the next day, Kakashi will tell them that ha that Zabuza might be alive, and that the Hunter Ninja is definitely a fake. Now Naruto already knowing this doesn't really care, but Kakashi says he's going to train them to go well. How do I say? He's going to train them to basically be able to well keep um to fight Zabuza or be able at least be able to keep up when they fight whoever that other person was. <clears throat> so moving on, Naruto is well well Naruto would and Inari would have the same encounter. Now Naruto would um continuously train himself, especially um well this is really after Sasuke and Naruto somewhat bonded but naruto knows that he just has to play along with the act he's just acting because he knows to truly get under sasuke and to truly get his revenge he has to make sasuke think that they grew a bond but little does sasuke know that bond was broken decades ago well for because you know naruto still is his adult self but you know forced into his child body he didn't really think about the implications of time travel like, you know, our normal Ibarthon who wasn't forced to um, stay, who wasn't really truly forced to stay in his, um, to stay in Harrison Wells' body. He could have taken his original form and all that, but, you know, anyways. So, Naruto will basically, um, go out and will train all night and will pass out, but not really. Because, you know, it is still his adult self, but just in his younger body. So, Naruto, um, well, we go to sleep that night, well, in the forest, and we'll wake up and we'll grab someone's hand, and we'll flip them over, and we'll hold a kunai to their throat. Naruto sees that it's just a woman, His Naruto knows that this is no woman, that this is Haku. Naruto says, you scare me. You really shouldn't sneak up on ninjas, you know. And Saku says, yeah, I, I kind of figured that out. That's good. <clears throat> As Naruto begins to walk away. As Naruto doesn't want to have that same encounter with Haku. Because it'll, cause Naruto knows that he'll have to kill. He'll have to kill. Even though Haku and Zabuza were the people who get, gave him his ninja... His ninja way, Naruto no longer goes by that. He no longer goes by that anymore. 
So, you know, he doesn't want to develop that ninja way again in his heart. That'll cause him to not complete the reason, um, his mission, the reason he came back in the first place. So, um, Naruto, this is where we really time skip to the bridge, the fight on the bridge. And Naruto, um, is currently, well, fighting Kaku after he has saved Inari and Tsunami and is in the mirror with Sasuke. So, Naruto is perceiving all the... He was legit look, just following Haku, and Haku notices that Naruto is following her wherever she goes with his eyes. She sees that Naruto is faster than her, but she also sees that he won't do it. So she thinks that his reef, that his eyes are, you know, his eyes can move at high speeds, but his body can't. So eventually, you know, she would, um, well, she would, how do I say this? Try to throw a bunch of uh, kunai, not kunai or shurike, a bunch of simbon towards Naruto, but Sasuke unlocking his Sharingan, well, would awaken it and would jump in front of Naruto. Now, Naruto wouldn't hold Sasuke, it's Naruto is not for that. Whether he has to play the part or not, he will not hold Sasuke again. And, well, Sasuke will pass out or be put in a death like state as Naruto always begins to glow red. As Haku says, what is, I feel my, as Haku, as, um, Kakashi feels this intense red energy and thinks that this is the Kaiyubi, but Naruto is someone forcing some of the Kaiyubi's chakra into the air, so that Kakashi won't be able to tell that it, whether it's his, the Kaiyubi's chakra, or not, so, you know, now, moving on, Kakashi, well, um, we see this red Energy bubble coming from inside the dome. As the dome would then break down to see Naruto, eyes of red. Now, Kakashi, um, no, as far as Kakashi knows, none of the past two Jachiriki has ever used the Kaiyubi's chakra. So, he know he does, he never really knew what would happen when a Jachiriki used the chakra because Konoha, while all other, all other um, nations have used Jachirikis in the past war, Konoha has won the war by producing Shinobi who can fight those Jachiriki. Who can go above those with that of the Jachiriki power. Konoha has not used the Jachiriki truly in war, I don't think ever. Well, you know, Kashina, she didn't use her Ninetales power. She fought, her, She fought. you know, by herself without the help of the Ninetales. Maybe with the chakra boost and everything. But yeah, that's about it. So, they will see Naruto grab a kunai and lunge it directly into, well, into Kaku. <clears throat> As Kakashi thinks Naruto got his first kill. Because Kakashi's not yet known about Naruto already killing Mizuki. Because Kakashi was on a mission the night that Naruto stole the Sacred Scroll, all that. Anyways, so Kakashi would have killed Zabuza, and they and Naruto and Kakashi would have been the ones to fight, well, fight them um, Gato and his men. So this is where we time skip to, um, Naruto Team Seven arriving back in Konoha. Uh, yes, the bridge was named the Great Naruto Bridge still. Inari, you know, and the villagers did give their hope back because of Naruto and all that. That all happened still. There's really no changes there. So this is where we really move on to, well, how well, um, to the Chunin and Zim's arc. So when they would arrive back in Konoha, Kakashi would, tell, would give his report to the Okage and the team would be paid accordingly for a uh, A-rank mission. Along with the C rank, because they still did their job of escorting, you know him. But the added fact of about fighting thugs, which were added onto the mission, fighting Zabuza Momochi, added onto the mission, fighting his apprentice Haku, who Zabuza said was probably stronger than him, added onto the mission, making it an A rank mission with a C rank for the escort. So, yes. Now, um, a couple days later, Kakashi would tell the team that he, that he nominated them for the Chunin exams, um, and that they should meet up at the academy for it on, I forgot if it was on a Friday or something like that, on a certain day. So, the team, well, would basically arrive there, 
The whole Konohamaru debacle still happened with Konkuro now. Except this time, Gara asked for Naruto's name and didn't care too much about Sasuke. But you know, Naruto knew that this is one of the things that made Sasuke, you know, get he boosted his ego. And decided to take that away from him. One of the few things that Naruto will be taking away from Sasuke. So now Naruto and the team will go on and go into the tuning exams, um, into the academy to start the tuning exams. Now Sasuke and um, but still had that same idiotic moment with telling everyone about the Genjutsu. Naruto won't really challenge Lee, but he, Sasuke will fight Lee and will lose still. And um, well, how do I say this? Um. When they walk into the room, they not really, um, Naruto isn't affected by the killing intent that's blasted at them, but Sasuke and Sakura is. Because it is much, because the, uh, the killing intent kind of accumulated between everyone, and it scared them, because it was probably worse than what Zabuza ever gave them. So, you know, that somewhat, that really shocked them. Anyways, moving on, the team was still with Pat, um, well... There's really no difference on what happens during the first part of the tuning exams. So this is really time skip to the start of the second one. Now, Naruto has another mission. Well, multiple side missions. But his main mission is to ruin Sasuke's life as much as he can. He's already done it majority majority of ruining Sasuke's life. Which is already hinted at what's happened after Naruto spied on Shisui and Itachi. And I legit just hinted at it. But anyways... Naruto knows Orochimaru was mostly the reason of why he lost everything. And why he and why Sasuke became the way he did in the future and why he's back in the past. But Naruto knows Oro Orochimaru needs to kill the the Hokage because if not, then he doesn't find Tsunade. And if that doesn't happen, Sasuke doesn't get jealous of him. And if that doesn't happen, Sasuke doesn't leave try to leave Konoha for him to fight him. And Naruto can't not have that happen. So, this time Naruto wouldn't help them fight. Well, well, we basically put Sakura and Sasuke under against you two, saying that showing that he was helping them fight Orochimaru. Because Orochimaru just saw that Naruto just stood there watching him fight Sasuke and Sakura, and saw Naruto legit following his movements. Like he's like like he could see everything, but couldn't move in time. And then Orochimaru was a little bit intrigued with Naruto. But it really wouldn't matter. So Rochimaru would give Sasuke the curse mark, and Sok Naruto would basically Sakura would take the team and would go to um would put them in that little cave thing, and they would Naruto would just fall asleep and release the Genjutsu. Now Sakura would be too tired to notice the fact is that Naruto's clothes aren't even scuffled like it like it was supposed to be, and probably would never notice that. <clears throat> Naruto is still wearing his ridiculous orange jumpsuit. As Naruto begins to think in his mind, Kurama, Kurama says, yes. Do you think this is a good idea? Because I surely believe so. What do you think the ramifications will be if I complete this mission? It'd be hard to tell. But with that help of that force that you created, any timeline changes you really make won't truly affect you until later on. Right. Well, let's hope this continues on the right track. Yes, let's hope. So, Naruto um, will wake up a couple of days later. With um after Sasuke fought the um hidden grat and the hidden uh, the hidden sound team and all that, Naruto woke up after Sasuke. Uh, I believe he woke up before Sasuke and rich in like canon, but this time he woke up after Sasuke. And was the one um he knocked out Sasuke to um actually get him out of his curse mark his curse um his curse mark state state. So, moving on, Naruto, well, moving on, Naruto and the team will go on to the, 
the center the center of the arena and all this will go much to canon so with naruto being this is where we move on to naruto versus kiba so naruto doesn't win the way he won last time naruto wins with a straight knockout so it's um naruto made himself look like he was weak being weaker and weaker and with one and kiba saw thought he would sneak up behind naruto but everyone would be shocked when naruto turned around and just punched kiba Ran into the wall, and Naruto then ran towards Kiba at a fast pace, like maybe high gen in, high gen in, and made a bunch of shadow clones. And he performed his Uzumaki barrage. And the only noteworthy thing is that he used over a thousand shadow clones. Well, around two thousand shadow clones. That was the only noteworthy thing. And everyone thought that Naruto was pretty smart, but how the fact is that he tricked Kiba into thinking that he was weak, getting weakened. With every strike that Kiba hit. Which is not the true case. Because Naruto actually dodged every, all of Kiba's hit. But no one actually was fast enough to see. Not even Kakashi Sharingan. They were not fast enough to see Naruto dodge this. He made it look like he was being kid. But he truly wasn't. He just dodged them all. So moving on. Naruto would be placed into the preliminary. Um, into the final exams. And would be paired against Neji Hayuga. But Naruto doesn't hate Neji, so he won't hurt him as badly as he um would Sas as he would have Sas if he would have fought Sasuke. So Naruto um is currently going around Konoha out there um trying to find um with Ebisu. When Ebisu comes across a man peeping in a bathhouse. And tells the man that that is no way to act, especially in Konoha. When the man, Dry Frog, would then put his, uh, put his tongue around Ebisu and then basically um, smack him into the ground multiple times. Knocking him out and not to doing the same, a um, thousand years of death to so So Naruto would then ask the man to train him. As Naruto would shock the man when he says, Jiraiya of the Sani, please train me. But what was shocked right the most is when Naruto would go into that familiar hand seal that we all know. Naruto would say, Sexy Jutsu. And Jiraiya would agree to train Naruto. They like saying that he will train him if he stays in his form. But Naruto would say that if he doesn't train him, without him, that if he does train him, he'll allow him to use him as research material. But he won't stay in his form for all the time. He'll only go into it when Jiraiya needs research material. So Jiraiya would agree to these stipulations, and this where basically we move on from, well, we move on to the tuning exams. So the first matchup is Naruto versus Neji Hyuga, and well, it's Neji, Neji just saw Naruto, it's just no one else is in the arena paying close attention to Naruto. Neji could see Naruto follow him while he was rotating. Every time he did rotations, Naruto always followed him. And Neji could see that Naruto was giving off the fact that is that he wasn't was giving making everyone think that he was weak. But Neji, from seeing this, could tell that Naruto isn't true is truly strong. But Neji, seeing this, decides to forfeit, saying that Naruto is too strong for him to beat him. So yes, this is one minor change. As Naruto asked Kurama. Should I ask Gideon? Which Kurama would say yes, you most likely should. So when Naruto's going through the tunnel where no one's watching, Naruto will ask Gideon. Gideon, has any changes occurred to the timeline too, that are too major? No. As Gideon would tell him no. Naruto says good. Everything is going according to plan. And yes, Gideon was created by Sasuke. It was actually um, something that Konoha's research, um, Konoha's scientific, divi sci scientific division came up with. It was Gideon. And Naruto repurposed Gideon to help him do, uh, to scan the timeline by being in touch with the negative speed force and the normal speed force so that he could scan the timeline perfectly. So this is where we move on to the Konoha invasion. 
Now, I know you guys are bored, bro. You're skipping over everything. Nothing truly changes for, through, through mostly everything. There's no major changes up until well, a certain point, which is where I would go over what happened after Naruto was playing over Itachi and C-Suite. That, this is what, let's, let's, so, let me get back to it. So, the invasion was starting. Naruto well, would be given a mission by Kakashi to go fight Gara. Well, to go find Sasuke and bring him back, but if not, help him fight Gara. So Naruto would still use the summoning jutsu and was still summoning Gama Bunta for him to, well, basically, well, to basically, um, defeat, transform it into the Nine Tails and defeat Shukaku and by headbutting, by headbutting Gara, and everything. And yeah, this is where. We move on to Hirzen's death. Now, before Hirzen dies and a barrier is taken, Hirzen will disappear from normal sight and will be put into the foliage. It's Naruto says, oh man. He says, Naruto, what are you? Naruto, he says, you're the... Yes. Please don't. Don't do anything stupid, old man. He shouldn't have done that. This is the only thing I could do. But why? Why are you the... <clears throat> I remember. You're the... You're the... That red blur. That was appearing in my office. Telling me... some Somehow telling me about certain things that I shouldn't know. About Donzo. The elders. Their plans. You're the reverse flash. Yes. And I want you to take that to the grave, old man. Don't tell anyone. I'll find your successor. I promise you that. He says you're from the future, aren't you? Naruto nods. Why are you back? Naruto says to destroy Sasuke Uchiha. And she's in with a smile. Says good luck. If you're here from the future to destroy Sasuke, then it must be for good for good reason. Hirzen will pass away and Naruto, he would appear back in the place where he was left and the reverse flash would disappear where Naruto would. So time skip, after the funeral, Jiraiya approaches Naruto and tells him that they're going on a mission to find um, the next Okage. This time Jiraiya didn't tell him that he was going to find the lady. He actually told Naruto that he was going to find the Okage because he surely found out that Naruto doesn't like not being told the whole truth. It was something that um, Jiraiya had to find out the hard way. <clears throat> so now moving on, um, Naruto and Jirai would leave Konoha Kure and well would would be on their way to find Tsunade of the Sani. And wow, this is actually Loki the fastest that I've ever gone through a what if. And this is only gonna end in Nar the OG Naruto. We're not gonna go over the Akatsuki or well, mostly the Akatsuki none that this is about changing this single fact of why he's the reverse flash. This is this is where the story is going to be not going into um, Shippuden or anything. And why it's going to be a movie instead of a series. That will be posted to, tomorrow on Saturday, February 19th. Anyways, moving on. They will continue on fighting Lady Tsunade. And Naruto will know he will feel their chakra signatures. Naruto has actually done this by flooding the chakra, his um, the air with his chakra, but where too, but it's too minute that no one else notices. So he can feel it's basically like a sensory dome. So anyone that's in that sensory dome, and we know Naruto has major chakra, so that sensory dome is pretty large, almost was well, probably bigger than Konoha. So no one will be able to hide from him. That's no, it's. Like, if Naruto was to stand in the middle of Konoha, he would be able to reach all around Konoha, even past the Okage monument, and would still be able to sense everyone in there. So, Naruto would sense Itachi putting the lady under the Genjutsu, as Jirai would stop and tell Naruto to go into the hotel after them searching for hours and would go on with the lady. As Naruto would smirk, finally, the plan is starting to come to fruition. As Itachi tells Kisame to continue on, he has to make a certain stop right quick for an informant that's in town. So, 
Kisame would do this and would go on as Naruto would appear behind Itachi. She says, is the plan going according? Is it going according to plan? Yes. He should be arriving. Do you make sure that you... Yes, I put I put Kakashi under Sukuyomi. Good. Let the plan commit. This, this is where the plan truly starts. This is where I get my revenge. Sasuke Uchiha, this is where... Everything is taken from you. Like you took everything from me. So, moving on, Naruto would appear. Itachi would appear, you know, next to Kisame. As Naruto would be in, um, would you know, basically run into his room, run up the building, into into the window, and into his room and dispel the shadow clone, which is the one that actually got the room and everything. So, Naruto. We're here to knock at the door. Naruto is smirk. As Naruto would open the door and would begin to be cowering and cowering in fear. Seeing Itachi Uchiha and Kisame. Kisame would go with the same line of should I cut his legs off. Forcing Naruto to grab a kunai and run at him. Now Kisame would be shocked to see the kid just actually pretty fast. He's he seems to act like that same reverse thing that that reverse flash that he's heard about in Konoha. Kisame's eyes widen as he says that you're the not shh. As you know, they would both then they would then hear Itachi, you're mine. As they would then hear play the um. The Chidori soundtrack. I'm not really gonna play it. I don't know. I always say I'm gonna put something in there and I forget. Anyways, they would hear the start of the Chidori and Sasuke running. As Itachi would kick um, Sasuke into the wall, break his arm, and then say, and then start choking him, saying, You don't have enough hate, brother. As he would then place Sasuke under a Genjutsu or under Sukuyomi, causing mental harm to Sasuke. So, Naruto would then, <clears throat> Naruto would then smirk as Jiraiya comes and basically, you know, drives Itachi and Kisame off. And then Guy comes and took Sasuke and they continue on their way to Fasunade. As Itachi disappears again, as Naruto appears and says, is it, is it going to plan? So Rochimaru says, yes, it is. So it just says, good. Follow Sasuke Chia. It's all coming. Make sure you stay in intact so that you can take care of him. I need you to send them after Sasuke so that this plan can go off without a hitch. I will. They will all disperse. And, um, eventually, Jiraiya and um, Naruto will come across the town and see them, people running, saying that there's a gigantic snake um, at the castle. So Jiraiya and Naruto will go up there and would arrive too late to see nothing left, but a broken down wall, well, a wall that's been destroyed. And Jiraiya and Naruto would go in and get a hotel and will stroll around at night to find something to eat. When they would come across a bar, we enter, Jiraiya will spot Tsunade. So after spotting Tsunade, Jiraiya and Naruto will sit down and Jiraiya will give her the same talk about being her being no Kage and her and Naruto will get into the same argument. As Naruto will say, how about you fight me? Tsunade says, fight you? Fine. Step outside, kid, and I'll utterly destroy you. And Naruto began to smirk. As Naruto then goes outside, as Tsunade says she'll only use one finger. As Naruto makes a clone juke, makes a clone hand sign. As Tsunade says a clone. As Naruto then holds out his hand, as this clone then forms, begins to form a signature jutsu of Naruto's. As this is the Rasengan. As Naruto then runs towards Tsunade, the Tsunade will see not her moving faster. We we'll start moving faster than Naruto to break this, the um, Rasengan apart. She can feel that it's not truly complete. 
But we'll be shocked to see that Naruto is following following her movements, even though she's moved basically she's moving at high jonin speeds and Naruto is following him, even while she's drunk. Even though she's drunk she is moving still moving at high jonin speeds. And we'll be sucked by this. As Naruto then um allows Tsunade to break apart the Rasengan and everything, all that happens. So now they're not to make the same bet, and uh, and this is where we really get into a one week time skip to the um end of the week as Naruto appears in the hotel room and with Shizune, um, and they find Jiraiya who was uh, basically looks Naruto asks Jiraiya is he drunk. Jiraiya says no. So now they drugged me. It's not to be as a snicker. <laughs> this is funny because. The um his dry died years ago, but even though it's still funny because of the fact is that this dry is still fell for the same um drug thing that you know see not he still drugs dry even though he's a sonny, and that's really what was funny. I I know it didn't sound as funny when I first started it, but anyways, yes, anyways. Naruto would then um and dry and then would all move on to find Tsunade. With uh, fighting Kabuto and Orochimaru. So Naruto would smirk. Orochimaru would then smirk too. As the rest of the. Um, the rest of this would go much to canon. With Naruto finally performing the Rasengan to save Tsunade. Tsunade bidding on Orochimaru. Was Naruto would then say. God I feel bad. I just forgot she did this. That's gonna hurt. Ooh. She hit him again. Godly. As Naruto then in the team wins, um, basically draws Orochimaru and well, Tsunade and Jiraiya now drive off Orochimaru. Tsunade heals Naruto and um heals Naruto and gives him the necklace, and they continue on to Konoha. So continue on to Konoha. Naruto and the team will go in, and Tsunade will heal Sasuke. Now, after this, Sasuke would demand that Naruto fight him because his brother didn't even want to fight him. He wanted to fight Naruto. He wasn't even concerned the, a little bit about him. He was concerned more about Naruto than him. Sasuke wants to know what's so special about Naruto. Why is Naruto getting more powerful when he's not? So Naruto shouldn't even be close to his level, but he is. Naruto smirks and says, fine. They have the same roof debacle. Naruto um, jumps uh, jumps onto a the little fence thing that's on top of the roof building and jumps down. And Sasuke is on the ground and jumps up. Naruto says, Rasengan. And Sasuke says, Chidori. And Sasuke screams, Stop it. Like a fucking idiot. And Kakashi appears and throws them both into the. um. I don't know what those things are called. The water storage places? Or water storage? Anyways, causing Sasuke to um hit his and see that his um he actually pierced it and Naruto barely put a dent in it with a little tiny hole, cause all the water came forcing out of the front instead of that. And Sasuke will backflip. He will see Naruto. Naruto basically blew the back out of that water container. It would be extremely pissed off. So Sas Kakashi would appear behind besides Sasuke would um disappear in a body flicker. So they would appear on the tree and Sa Kakashi would then tie up Sasuke and would give give him the same talk about um revenge and Sasuke would say the same thing about him not knowing about it. Kakashi would say the same thing about his, everyone he, who's he's loved who he's loved is already the dead. And this is where we get into the interesting part. Sasuke is approached by the sound for and decides to leave Konoha. Naruto says, finally, the plan is in action. As with Orochimaru, Orochimaru then stabs Kabuto, completely cutting his head off. As Orochimaru begins to vibrate at a high speed, Naruto says, oh, finally. Man, staying in that fool is really really painful and getting out of it is even more painful oh. 
It was weird. And why did she have to hit me like that? I know she didn't know the plan, but come on. His natural speed's off. So, uh, Tsunade approach, um, Shikamaru approaches Naruto and tells him about Sasuke leaving Konoha. And she, um, Shikamaru doesn't notice it, but Naruto smirks. She says, yes. It's all going to plan. Soon, Sasuke Uchiha. Soon. Everything that you worked for, I will take from you. As Naruto... Um, goes to the gate and gives Sakura that same promise, quotations on promise, to bring back Sasuke. So, time skip. Naruto is currently fighting Kitamaru. Kitam Kimamaru. Kimamaru? Kitamaru? Which one? Damn, I always conv confuse them. Wait a minute. I think I gotta get it right first. Yes, it is Kimamaru. When Rock Lee appears and tells Naruto to leave. So eventually, Naruto is able to leave him against the smirk. Naruto says, finally, I can do it. I can finally set free. As Itachi, um, as Itachi begins to vibrate, as he's currently in the Hidden Rain Village. I know I said I wouldn't go against the Akatsuki, but I decided at the last minute to do it. So, as Naruto says, oh, finally. As everyone in the Akatsuki is shocked, Naruto says, all right. As his eyes begin to vibrate red, he then disappears from everyone's sight. When he disappears, everyone drops to the floor dead. Tobi, Zetsu, Deidara, Kakuzu, Hidan, Sasori, Deidara, I think I said that, all six pass of pain, Nagato, and Konar. They all, and Kisume, will all drop to the floor dead. As he talks, he will then run off. I know I was going to make a mistake about this. But I decided to go roll with the mistake. So you roll with your mistakes. Anyways. Naruto. Well then. When they would appear in the Violet Valley. Sasuke would enter his third March stage. Naruto says finally Sasuke. I can finally get my revenge on everything that you. Take everything away from you. This will be the final act. Sasuke says huh. As Sasuke then notices a ring on Naruto's finger. As Naruto holds out his hand. And clenches his fist tight. I don't really know how the mechanism of him opening the ring works. As a, he will see something yellow and black would appear. With some red in it. Would appear out of the ring. As Naruto would run into it disappearing into red lining. As Naruto would appear with his eyes going red in a yellow suit. A yellow black and somewhat red suit. That's a success. Finally. I can get my revenge against you, Sasuke Uchiha. Naruto disappears and begins to punch all on Sasuke. And Sasuke is not able to keep up at all. At all. He tries to. He just. He, just, he can't see him. Even with his three Tomori Sharingan activated or with the Crest Mark, he just can't keep up with Naruto's speed at all. He won't. He can't see, you know, him slower and slower thing. Even slow, Naruto still is fast. Too fast for Sasuke to perceive him. Oh, he sees the, the yellow lightning. As Naruto is finally finished beating Sasuke. As Naruto appears in Konoha. As everyone saw the red lightning, it followed it all to, um, towards the top of the Okage Tower. Everyone in Konoha was there when they heard about Sasuke leaving and Naruto being there. As Naruto yells, Konoha Gakure! So everyone sees a man in a yellow suit. As this man begins to pull off his mask. I, Naruto Uzumaki, have captured your rogue Uchiha. And I have something to admit. Sasuke. It's not saying it's loud enough for everyone to hear. I've waited so long for this. So long to have my revenge against everything you've done for me. I've done nothing to you. Naruto, that's the thing, Sasuke. Not yet, but you won't get that chance. See, Sasuke, I come from the future. Yes, yeah, the future. In the future, I'm around that I come from. I'm around 40 years old. But it all started with you. You see, I became the hero of Konoha. That was my job. 
I was the hero of Konoha. I fought in the war for Konoha. But you came. You swooped in and took everything from me. Because Konoha needed an Uchiha. After I defeated you, you would still wouldn't come back to Konoha. So Konoha offered you the only position that they could. The position of Konoha. I mean, not Konoha, of Hokage. They offered you the position of Hokage. But Tsunade went against this. The five major, the other great nations went against this. But there was nothing she could do. Danzo had already forced the Divine Diamond into making you the next Hokage. There was nothing that could change that. You took my dream away from me, Sasuke. You took it away from me. And then there's Sakura. After the many times that she confessed her love to you, you always rejected her. But I did love Sakura. I truly did. And it broke my heart every time when you tried to kill her. 30 plus time in our teenage years. During our teenage years. You tried to kill her more than 30 times. For her to still love you. And when you came back to Korra, she eventually had your child. But she still tried to attempt to kill her every time she's talked to you. But you know, I was like, okay. I got o I didn't get over it. I harbored hate. So I threw myself into scientific research. Using my Shadow Clone Jutsus to gather the knowledge I needed. To try to find a way back in time and stop this from happening. Stop you from taking everything I wanted away from me. But I met this girl. A blonde girl by the name of Ino Yamanaka. I fell in love. We had a child. It was on the way of our second child. As Ino in the crowd is shocked to see that. Hear that in the future she has a child with Naruto and marries him. Naruto then says. But you know Sasuke. To get away from you. I decided to leave Konoha and I asked for your permission, but you granted you granted it. So when I went out ahead to scout for the land of Uzushi Okokir, I came back to find my wife and my child and my unborn child dead, botanically, dead at your feet with you laughing. My wife talked me out of destroying your life. But now without that, I threw myself deeper into my research, finally coming up with a way to go back. So I did. I came back to this time. And I went somewhere. I watched that Shisui Uchiha committed suicide. And as your brother tried to stop him. But when your brother's back returned, I appeared behind him and took over. I killed your brother and took his shape, his abilities. Sasuke's eyes widened. He says, you were, as Itachi would appear beside Sasuke. Hello, Sasuke. As the Tachi began to vibrate, showing that this is actually Naruto. I took out the Uchiha clan, not Itachi. You see, this little device here, as Naruto will grab a device, as he's holding Sasuke above the Hokage Tower. This little device allows me to change, somewhat change my, I don't really, as far as I was described, it allows me to change my genetic makeup. So, I took on your brother's appearance, his abilities, but as long as I still had that chakra from that night. So, you know what I did? I ran back in time and created a time remnant. It's what, it's what, I created a time remnant. The it killed your clan, but I killed your clan technically because it is me. It's like the clone Jutsu, but not. See, a time remnant happens when I go back in time and meet my past self. Basically creating a clone of me and all that. And after Orochimaru killed the third Okage, I went and killed him. As a third, as an Orochimaru would appear in front of everyone. As he would then vibrate again to appear to be Naruto. As everyone begins, someone, um, some people are happy to see that Naruto killed the, um, especially Konohama was happy that Naruto advanced the third Okage. Naruto says, you took everything from me, Sasuke. So, I killed your clan. It was an order, originally it was an order given to Itachi to kill your clan. So yeah, originally, Itachi killed your clan. You were then pampered by the entire council, everyone in Konoha. They needed their precious Uchiha-sama, but no more. And then, when it came to your mother, your father couldn't notice, but your mother did. She loved your brother very much. 
knew more about him than your father did. So she was able to notice that I wasn't him in her last moments. When I killed your father first, they released the Genjutsu shit she was under. So, she tried to fight back, but I killed her. And I put you under a Genjutsu. And fled Konoha. I told the third Hokage to protect you. But it was only a ploy so that you wouldn't be used by Donzo. And I wouldn't get in trouble for killing you when you went rogue. You see Sasuke, this happened. This all happened. When in my past time, all these things happened still. Except this time, I was the one who killed your clan. This time, I was the one you fought in that hallway. I was the one who put you in that Tsukuyomi. Not Itachi, me. Sasuke, I've taken everything from you. Naruto, we, um, Naruto says now, the last thing I have to take from you is your life. Naruto will pull his hand back and will begin to vibrate it. Sasuke says, no! As Naruto shoves his hand into Sasuke's chest and basically kills Sasuke. With a smirk on his face. As Naruto then grabs Sasuke, as, the council, as everyone who's there, even Okage, but the council is beginning to think, well, since Sasuke is there, they could just take some of his seed and, you know, impregnate Randall Kunoichi, his, his civilians, and, you know, create a new Uchiha clan. As Naruto says, Konoha doesn't deserve another Uchiha clan. If it once been buried too late to extract bone, um, to distract the, to extract DNA from the old Uchiha's. And no one will be creating a new Uchiha clan. As Naruto begins to vibrate his hand. Speeding up Sasuke. Uh, Sasuke's decay process. Sasuke decays all the way into. It's basically fully cremated. He basically cremated Sasuke until he turned into ashes. The civilian council says damn that demon. Naruto says you all pampered the Uchiha. Well you couldn't even pamper the fourth Okage son. I got my revenge against him, the man who killed my father and my mother, the man who started the Nine Tails attack in the first place. I killed him. You wanna know who he was? He was Obito Uchiha. I killed him. Cause he killed my father. If my father was still alive, none of this would have happened. I would have become the Hokage. No Uchiha massacre. None of that. It's not until they hear running behind him. It's not until we hear Naruto as Sakura then tries to throw a fist at Naruto. Naruto says, anyone you are truly affiliated with Sasuke Sakura. And anyone affiliated with a traitor is a traitor to Konoha. So Naruto would then stick his hand into Sakura, through Sakura. Sakura would fall to the ground dead. Is it, um most majority of the council or the civilian council is ordering for Naruto's death, along with three elders. And Sonate then tells Naruto to meet her and them in the, the council room, along with the Shinobi council. And Naruto begins to smirk as he says, "This is another of one of the things that gets in my way of me becoming Okage. This stupid council, that won't happen, not again." As Naruto appears in the council room, the counselors and everyone else, the rest of the council appears in there uh, with Tsunade. Naruto says, what did I do now? She said, you killed Uchiha-sama. Naruto says, well, I told Tsunade that I will kill Sasuke on this mission. As a traitor, she gave me the permission, the rightful permission to kill Sasuke. As the civilians and the elders look at Tsunade, he says, you don't have the authority to, as Tsunade then cuts them off, to do what? To give Mashinobi a mission to kill Sasuke. Like you gave Itachi the mission to kill the Uchiha clan. But it wasn't Itachi, it was the, did you think it was Itachi? At the time he was Itachi, was he not? Damn it. Mata says, everything I've done is justified. Even killing my daughter? Mata says, your daughter was in league with a traitor. She would have went with him if she get, was given an opportunity. 
I know this because this is what she told me in the past. In my future, in the future, but in my past. She told me she would have left with Sasuke. But he knocked her out so she couldn't go with him. And then Sasuke. Sasuke did everything that I told you. He betrayed Konoha. He even tried to kill the five Hokages. I didn't tell anyone that. I wanted that to tell you guys. So I eliminated a problem. A bane in my existence. And now, everything is done. Dry says. Did it all really happen? Is it really Obito who killed Minato? Naruto nods his head. You see, there was a fourth great shinobi war. I, I was the main hero. But because of Konoha needing an Uchiha clan, they gave the Hokage position, which was supposed to be mine, after the war. Or technically Kakashi's until he could pass it on. Kakashi was forced to become the sixth Hokage, but it was eventually passed on to Sasuke, out of because he, of you guys. I should kill you all here where you stand, civilians and elders. I should kill you, all of y'all, because of what you've done. It's because of you that I came back here. Because of you that I killed Sasuke. Because of you that I didn't become Hokage and my wife died. See, Noichi says, did you really marry my daughter in the future? Yes. And I have full intentions of marrying her again in this, in this, in my future. He you know what she smirks, says, good luck with that kid. It just says, I will. Now it just says, now I've killed the entire Akatsuki. No one's alive. No one. So there's no more threat of the Akatsuki, but all this news will spread. The Akatsuki were a group of S rank Kage tier shinobi. Those who one could wipe out the entirety of the shinobi nations by going to them all and just destroying them with a single jutsu. Be none left uh, uh, other than those who were out of the village at the time. There'd be none left. I wiped him out, I killed him myself. Or well, technically Itachi did, but it was me the entire time. The entire world would know this. But, you know, I came to a decision. See, I just thought about it. Dazo, I know what you did. And I know what you two elders did. You guys went behind Hokage's back and gave Itachi that mission. It's considered treason to do that. Naruto disappears, taking off Danzo's right eye and his right arm. I believe that, yeah, his right eye and right arm. So Naruto um, puts those onto the um, onto Tsunade's desk and disappears again, with the three elders dropping to the ground dead. Naruto says, "Now, that's all done." Naruto says, "Now, I have someone to go see." As the civilian council is then, um. Says, we you you just gonna let him go? Sorry says yes. Naruto's entire reasons are justified, and he won't be imprisoned. And seeing as the abilities he has now, he he is proven to be most likely the next Hokage. And this is where we time skip. Naruto's twelve round four years later. Sits currently at the Hokage inauguration. Tsunade says, welcome everyone. I am pleased to introduce to you your sixth Okage, Naruto Uzumaki. So Naruto will walk up with a blonde lady right next to him. With a blonde right next to him. Naruto will begin to wear all the Konohas. Because over the years, uh, Tsunade, on every, um, everyone, since they learned that Naruto was the fourth Okage son, they stepped to civilian council. Most of Konoha, well, all of Konoha except the Civilian Council has come to love Naruto. And they justified his actions and, you know, approved Naruto's actions of wiping out the entirety of the Uchiha clan. Now leaving no more Uchiha's left. As Naruto then announces his, um, his fiance's pregnancy. 
It says even though at the age of 16, Naruto is going to be a father. Originally, that wasn't the case. Well, it was actually after um, when Naruto was 17 that he eventually, you know, had a, a child. So his child was pretty old when um when you know he was um when he was leaving around his 40s. So, but you know, Sasuke still slaughtered there. No, 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 no. That was a bad idea to make his no. Naruto did originally have his child around the same age as Borto. His so child would have been in his twenties instead of in his forties, um, thirties or something like that, or late teens, early twenties, somewhere in there. Anyways, as they're going with gas to see that their new Hokage is having a child, Naruto smirks. So Naruto says, "It's time I keep up." I, um, as Naruto disappears in a um, basically in red lightning. She says, it's time I keep our promise, Kurama. Kurama says, thank you. I'll always be by your side, always watching over Konoha and your descendants. And Nata says, thanks, Kurama. I could always trust you. Well, after a certain point, I could always trust you. <laughs> it's not telling Kurama sure I'll chuckle. As Naruto releases Kurama from his seal. And due to him having the negative speed force, he's um and being a speedster, his body is healing at a rapid pace, allowing him to survive the extraction. Well, actually, forcefully extracting a BG will kill someone, but uh, willing, like if Naruto didn't, like he basically released Kurama, he didn't forcefully rip him out or nothing. So Naruto would have survived it anyway, but it did cause some damage. So, but he used his speed healing to make sure. In the Mingo Boots, Naruto was given the name of the Reverse Flash and was given a quadruple S rank. Being able to take out uh, Shinobi, Shinobi who could wipe out the entire of the five, entirety of the five great nations. Someone that they don't even think Hashirama or the Rikudo Sinin could even do. After Naruto told him that one of the people... The first people, some one of the people had, or six of the people, or seven, had the Rinnegan, the Dojutsu, the Rikudo Sinning. He did lie and say that that would make them as strong as him. That 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 is where the Rikudo Sinning got most of his strength, with the help of Sage Mode. With the Sinning Mode of, um, of the uh, the Frog Sages. So, this is where we will be in the go. What if Naruto was the reverse flash, the movie? I hope you guys had a good time enjoying it. I know it was a little bit jumbled at the end, but yeah. It's me, the Rokage, out.